Right, hello everyone. Um, so this is going to be part one of turbocharging the V6. Um, so I'm going to do a quick summary of how I'm going to do it, how I think I'm going to do it. Then I'm going to show you what I've done so far and do some more work on the exhaust side of it. So a quick summary then. So this is my uh, friend's engine, friend's Mega Squirt MS3X which is up on the shelf, I've taken it off, it was there. Um, Spock standard engine, the plan is, we've got standard manifolds, both sides. Uh, we have an MR2 3S GTE throttle body with a very basic adapter plate uh, going to a 3 inch silicon tube that I'll need to fasten on. So the idea is to uh, fit the turbocharger off the same engine, which is that one there. Um, onto the engine, so a bit of a, a, a sort of a fun exercise more than anything else. Obviously, this is just plain. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'll show you the exhaust side first. So I've stripped the turbo down because I need to clock it. Also, to help me fabricate the parts. So this is the exhaust housing. Right, carefully. It's really heavy. So the exhaust housing is going to go about there okay and I'm shaking already because it's so heavy uh, we're going to have so imagine that's there I'm going to put that back down because I'm going to drop it we're going to have start on this side exhaust pipe which is going to be a bit difficult to make because the Jaguar exhaust it should have like a, a, a chamfer or a formed end which obviously I don't have so I'm going to grind that down, make that fit there, use a lot of exhaust paste, um, put on some tabs so it screws in nice and tight. That's going to come down underneath the gearbox and then back up to the turbo which will be there, it just was a moment ago. And then this one is going to come down, do a U shape and then it's going to join in to this vertical pipe here. It'll all make sense once it's done. I'm not running a wastegate because the engine will never see boost, it's just going to idle and rev. I'm going to force that closed using a tie wrap or just something just to stop it flapping. Uh, I've sacrificed an old eBay downpipe to steal that flange there. That's going to go onto there. And then I'm going to block off, put a plate on this side because that's not going to do anything, that's going to stay shut. Pipe onto there. And then that'll be the loud version. And then the quiet version, I'm going to have uh, an exhaust coming, if you can imagine it, down and off. And there'll be some sounds so something nice and quiet going out the garage door. So that's the turbo side of it. Also, to support the weight of the turbo, I'm going to have a bracket coming off here. So that bracket takes the weight of the turbo, not the exhaust pipes. Um, also, I'm going to weld in a bung for the wideband lamp sensor. Uh, I've started to make... Uh, in a perfect world, I'd buy some 10mm steel and get it laser cut, that shape. But I'm a cheap skate, I'm not doing that. So I've got two pieces of 5mm. At the moment they're bolted together. I'm going to seam weld the outside. And put a little groove in. Just so I can fill that with weld. And I'm going to fill these holes with weld. So like mini spot welds. I'm going to drill these out to 12mm, whatever they are. And then I'm going to drill one hole in the centre. And all you experts are going to say, well, it's a twin entry turbo, you can't have one hole. I can because all it's going to do is rev and idle. So, exhaust flow, don't matter. Does, does not matter at all. Uh, what I might do is, on the uh, entry to the turbo, I might, because basically it's going to be like that, I might just grind these down so there's a bit of a, a bit of a chamfer there so it's nice and smooth so that's going to be the flange for the turbo 
So you're going to be asking what I'm going to do with the oil. Uh, obviously I need oil to make the turbo work properly. It needs oil feed. We have in there, I'm going to get my torch. Right, one of those two there, I don't know which, I think it's the top right sensor, is the oil pressure sensor. Uh, we're not running oil pressure on the Mega Square at the moment. It is what it is. If it's got oil pressure, it's got oil pressure. If it don't, it don't. Um, I'm going to pull that out by uh, an adapter, uh, a barbed fitting, screw it into the block. That gives me my oil feed. I'm going to. This is the oil in and oil out. I'm going to make my own little flange, drill and tap it, and then I'll probably use, I don't know, five, five mil uh, fuel line to run oil from the block to the turbo. Uh, just sort of the basic, because uh, again, it is just a, a bit of fun is all this. The oil coming out of the turbo, which is a gravity, gravity return. Um, the turbo's going to be nice and high, which is good. The gravity turn, which is that one there, is going to go into... Oh, I've got my torch. Hang on, guys. So, the, so remember the oil... Uh, remember the turbo is going to be up here, nice and high. The gravity oil drain, gravity-fed oil drain, is going to come down, and it's going to go into the dipstick. Um, Done a bit of research, I think I know what I'm doing. I, I should, could drill the sump. I'm not drilling the sump, definitely not. I could take the sump off, drill it and tap it, put the sump back on, but that's loads of work, so I'm not doing that. That is a steel uh, uh, oil dipstick tube. Pull that tube off, I'm going to modify it, I'm going to weld on um, an extra tube, and then I'm just going to use a thick... Um, large diameter fuel line um, to drain oil from the turbo back into the sump via the oil dipstick. So that's the oil. Uh, some of you might be thinking, oh, is it going to flow enough oil? I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> we'll find out. And then, if it's still recording, which it is, the compressor side of the turbo so I'm going to have to be careful not to drop this. If you can imagine it, the turbo, if you can see, hold the camera, is going to be like that. Okay. Exhaust housing on that side. I'm not running an air filter because it's nice and clean in the garage. I've got a three inch silicon pipe there. And I'm going to prop a cheat. And you're going to think, whoa, you need it in the cooler. I've got some three inch exhaust tube. I'm just going to run a straight pipe from the outlet of the compressor, 90 degree bend, across, 90 degree bend, into there. So the air literally goes straight on. Not running a dump valve, um, no intercooler, just boom, straight in, job done. I will need to... Now what? That's fine. That's it. Um, that explanation, hopefully what wasn't too long of an explanation. That's all I've got to do. Simple as that. Do that in a night, yeah? So I'm going to crack on and hopefully it all works out and hopefully it's as simple as, I, as I've explained. Away we go.